what is up guys welcome back to another video my name is nash and in this video we're going to be solving a problem this is one of those practical microsoft excel interview questions that try to test your knowledge on general finance as well as if you know how to use excel to solve those problems so that's what we're going to be doing today and uh, the link to download this is going to be uh, in the description below if you want to download this and work along with me and try to maybe solve it um, I'm gonna it's not gonna have the answers on it but if you want to see the answers you have to watch the video all right so let's get started all right so as you can see here this is our data here so you're given this data here all right so the problem is given the following data for a company's quarterly revenue and expenses calculate the following we have four different questions these are very basic questions that um, any financial analyst should know. So try to solve it on your own and then you can watch the video. The first question is asking about quarterly net income. So calculate the net income for each quarter. How do you do that based on the information uh, that we're given here? So we have a section here for net income. So simply to calculate net income, you are going to subtract the expenses from the revenue, right? So how do we do this? I'm going to go ahead and grab the revenue minus the expenses over here. There we go. Now, this is going to be our annual revenue here. So, or our quarterly revenue for each quarter, right? So, as you can see, it's actually increasing um, every quarter. So, that's the answer to the first question. Now, the next question is asking for annual revenue growth rate. So calculate the revenue growth rate year over year. The key word here is going to be year over year, right? So how do we do this? So let's go ahead and I guess I, we can put the answers here. So the first year we need to look at is going to be 2022. So we need revenue for 2022. What is that revenue? We could do sum of all the revenues that falls in 2022. So let's go ahead and grab all these revenues up to here. So this is all the revenue for 2022. And then we're going to grab the revenue for 2023. So we could do the same thing here, but we are, we are going to grab the quarters that fall in 2023, right? So there we go. All right. So now we have our revenue here. So now we need to calculate the growth rate. So let's call this, uh, that. All right. So how do we calculate this? We are going to do equal. Two, we're going to grab the total revenue from 2023, which is this here. And we are going to subtract that from uh, the total revenue from 2022. Right? Let's close our parenthesis here. And we're going to divide this by the uh, revenue from uh, 2022 again. So let's go to 2022 and multiply by 100. So multiplying by 100 will convert this into our uh, percentage, which is 34.78%. Uh, All right. So that is our, the answer. To, let me go ahead and expand this a bit. All right, maybe right here. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, align these like that. Okay, so that is, let me go ahead and put a little, I like to format my uh, things here. So this is going to be the answer to the second question, which is calculate revenue growth, uh, the revenue growth rate year over year. So there you go. We have 34% revenue uh, growth year over year. Now, the third question is, uh, it's going to be uh, expense as a percentage of revenue. So calculate the expenses as a percentage of revenue for each quarter, right? So we have a column for that here to do our calculation. All right. So the formula for this is going to be, you want to go ahead and take uh, the expenses and you want to divide by the revenue and then multiply by 100, turn that into a percentage. So we have 60% up here. So let's go ahead and drag this formula down. So this is going to be the expense as a percentage of revenue for each quarter here. So these numbers are used for maybe cost management as well as like if you want to analyze how profitable the company is. Uh, sometimes if you're budgeting and forecasting, you can use this as well. Now, the last question here, which is a pretty simple one, is going to be creating a line chart, right? Create a line chart showing revenues, expenses, and net income over the three quarters. All right, so to create the chart, let's go ahead and select our quarter, revenue, expenses, and net income. And we're gonna go over to insert 
and uh, let's grab one of these uh, charts here. We could do recommended charts. Let's try a line chart here. We'll try something like this over here. And uh, there you go. So now you're going to be able to just edit this chart. All right. So what is the point of these basic calculations or even creating that visualization? What's the point of doing all that, especially in a job interview? So this is going to show that you can use Excel for financial analysis, which is really important. Very big skill for financial analysts and also shows that you can actually use Excel to do these calculations because nine times out of 10, you're going to be doing these calculations in Excel. These were some pretty simple questions that anyone in finance should really know. If you took a basic finance class, you should know how to answer those questions. But uh, if you guys want to see some more difficult questions, let me know in the comment section below and we can cover that uh, in a separate video. But um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.